Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In my previous video, I talked about how you could easily get Massacre Medals with an overpowered Hunter build. Since then, I found an even easier way to get Massacre Medals with a really, really cool Warlock build. And I wanted to build, bring it to you guys as quickly as possible because I know the season is running out and a lot of you guys are kind of grinding on that title. So let's talk about it again to help you out, especially maybe you don't have a Hunter character. Let's talk about a little more detail. Again, within the Reckoner Seal, one of the most difficult triumphs to get is a triumph reaper primarily because of the 10 massacre medals required in this video i will go over a build that makes it super easy and again if you find value out of this if it's something that's useful for you please like the video and subscribe to the channel that really helps me out so first off how do you get massacre medals massacre medals require you to kill 12 enemies in a row within three seconds of each other now this doesn't mean you need to kill them as quickly as possible in fact you may want to space out your kills so that you have enough adds left when you're done to finish the seal you need to get this with an active reaper glow now you don't necessarily have to have a full set of tier 3 armor to get the glow you can you know sometimes you might want to have a specific exotic with you so you can actually have most of the armor and then use a synth for 30 minutes to be able to get that same glow again you need to have the glow to be able to have the massacre medals count of course the difficulty in getting these medals which you need 10 of to finish the seal is that playing with a random fire team you can't keep your fire team members from taking those kills from you so if you don't have a good fire team to do this with this build should help you get those medals and finish this, the seal easily so with that out of the way let's talk about the new build that i want to talk to you about that will make this super super easy so to start out to get this you're going to need a risk runner which again allows you to do a lot of arc destruction in a short period of time. With Risk Runner, you can proc Arc Conductor that can make the weapon more powerful and resist arc damage. When you get kills with it, its timer for Arc Conductor continuously gets extended. On top of that, you can also get Super Conductor. So while Arc Conductor is active and shots fired give chain lightning and return ammo. So just think about that. You literally are walking around the map as a giant ray of chain lightning going everywhere. And as long as you're killing enemies, you'll keep getting ammo, which means you don't have to reload. So literally just hold down the trigger, find enemies and kill them. It's, it's really fun even outside of Gambit. To begin proccing this, there's a lot of ways. You can get arc damage from Taken. You can get them from different things. But if you're playing a Warlock, you can use a well-placed pulse grenade right near your feet. And you can proc that on demand to get this going. Again, when you do this, you want to make sure you're near enemies because the proc will only last so long. You need to start getting those kills to have it continue on. Now, that by itself can be super effective. And as you chain that lightning together and you're getting kills, it'll be a lot easier to get that those medals, those massacre medals. I've even done it with that just alone. Again, it it's going to depend on, on, on pacing and how close the enemies are, but I've been able to do that. But there's something you can do to even make this more effective. That's by using the exotic helmet, Crown of Tempest. What that exotic does is it has a perk that is when you're getting arc kills, your other arc abilities regenerate faster. So how does that help you? So again, if you're getting arc kills with Risk Runner, that's going to count towards what you're trying to do. And it will actually regenerate your melee, your super, and your grenade. So let's say you go through one wave of Gambit, right? Because you, you're, you're trying to get Reaper. And if, if you get to the point where you're running out of kills, at that point, that wave is no longer useful. Because then again, that's all you're trying to accomplish. So then you go to the next wave. Well, by that, if you've already done that and you have Crown of Tempest on, you'll have your grenade again. So you repeat. You go to the next area. You lay down your grenade. You start killing things. And again, I've been able to get more than one Massacre Medal in a single match, which is really cool. But to add to this... You're also getting your super energy. So when you're getting your super energy, again, that's going to allow you to give you another ability that will allow you to get those kills. And that's exactly what Tickle Fingers is designed to do. Stormcaller, by its design, is designed to take out a bunch of trash ads over a period of time. So again, it's the perfect complement for this build. And the other great thing about this build is then because it's really limited, honestly, to native abilities of Warlock, and having two exotics, one gun and one helmet, you have a ton of other options then 
as far as mods and other things that you can put on to complement this, whether it's a sword to help you with some of your kills, whether it's a shotgun, whether it's certain mods. You know, I didn't play around with this, but you could even add something to get your grenade quicker, or even your supers quicker. So again, there's a ton of customizable options with two very simple exotics and just using them in the correct way. So that's the video, guys. Hope you really enjoyed it. If you do, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Get in the community. Let's talk about what we want to do next. Really looking forward to Beyond Light coming out. And just like I said, like the rest of you, I'm grinding out the last of my achievements. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.